Whatever it costs you, you know it's gonna be a fun one. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I'm here coming to you from Planet Name. This is Future Amelia <laughs> to do a video about sci-fi and futuristic names for babies or characters. <laughs> so because I'm a writer and I love sci-fi and futuristic novels, I'm always, always interested in names that I think would sound great for that genre. So I've come up with a list of names that I think have kind of a sci-fi sound and that I think would be amazing names for babies, but that I think could also work for writers looking for character names. I'm also planning on doing a video on tips for choosing character names, so thumbs up this video and let me know in the comments if that would be something you would be interested in seeing. As per usual, I'm doing one list for girls and one list for boys, and in this video I'm going to be featuring the girls' names. So without further ado, let's get started with the girls' names. So the first sci-fi futuristic girl baby name I have is Vega. Vega is a name that has roots in so many languages, including Arabic, Scandinavian, Danish, Sanskrit, Latin, Spanish, and more. And I feel like as the world becomes more and more multicultural, names that have ties to multiple languages could be more appealing to parents who have kind of diverse backgrounds. Vega also has a super cool tie to the night sky. It's the name of the fifth brightest star and the second brightest star in the northern hemisphere. I feel like Vega has kind of a very similar feel to Nova and is totally usable for babies born in 2018, 2019 or for a character in your story set in 2200. <laughs> It's much more popular in Scandinavia and Spain, but in the US it's all the way down at number 3,898. The next name I have is Iskra. Iskra is a stunning Slavic name that means spark or sparkle. And I actually think that spark would be a really cool nickname for Iskra. This name is extremely rare in the US and was given to only six girls in 2017. It definitely has an exotic, futuristic sound, but I do think it would work really well on a little girl born today as kind of a cool alternative to the Isla, Nora type names, Iskra. What do you think? The next name I have is Vesper. Vesper is a beautiful Latin name and it means evening star. It kind of has a whispery, soft sound, Vesper. And it really sounds like it could be the name of a supermodel or a superhero from a sci-fi movie. Vesper was used for a character in the 2006 James Bond movie Casino Royale, but it did not jump a huge amount in popularity after that. It was only given to 68 girls in 2017. The next name I have is LV. LV sounds like a name that would really fit in in the Hunger Games universe or with current baby names today. It comes from Elva, which is an anglicization of an Irish name that means leader of the elves. So it could definitely be a fantasy type name as well. I feel like Elvie fits in with more popular girls' names like Indy, Ella, and even Everly, but Elvie was only given to seven girls in 2017. The next name I have is Cosima. Cosima is an Italian name that means order or beauty. It's related to the word cosmo, which means universe, and can refer to space travel through the Russian word cosmonaut, which is what they call astronauts. 
It has been used by the British aristocracy, but I think it would make a really cool name for like a Martian princess as well. It's very rarely used in the United States and was given to only 36 girls in 2017. The next name I have is Beatrix. Beatrix is an older Latin form of Beatrix and Beatrice. And it's an ancient name, but it somehow manages to sound like it could be from the future. I love all the nickname options, V, Via, Trixie, and I think it could work really well for um, a baby born today, especially if you're looking for something recognizable, but a cool, but with a cool and exotic twist. And I do think it would also work perfectly for a character in a sci-fi novel. It was given to less than five girls in the United States in 2017. The next name I have is a name I have a huge crush on right now, and I almost want to add it to my personal top 10, and that is Zenobia. Not only does this name have ties to an ancient eastern queen, but it's been used by several classic authors from literature, and I love the possible nicknames for this. Zen and Obi I think would be amazing nicknames, especially for sci-fi characters. Tina Fey chose this name as the middle name for her daughter Alice. And I think it would be such a cool choice for parents brave enough to use it. And I think it would also work for the name of a queen in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Zenobia was only given to 39 girls in the US in 2017. The next name I have is Kenza. Kenza is a simple, beautiful name that means treasure. It was the name of an eighth century Moroccan queen. It has an exotic and unusual feel, but it's still super familiar because of names like Mackenzie and Kendra. And so whether you're looking for an unusual baby name or a name for your lead character, I feel like this one is definitely worth considering. Kenza is very uncommon in the US and was given to only 36 girls in 2017. Then I have Petra. Petra is a beautiful feminine form of Peter and means rock or stone. It has an exotic feel, but it is not unrecognizable. It has such a strong sound to it, and I can imagine a character named Petra flying her spaceship or fighting a corrupt dystopian government. And a baby girl named Petra, I feel like has a similar feel to Elsa and Freya and Pippa and names that are gaining popularity right now and it would fit right in with that P trend as well. Petra is ranked at number 1397 and was given to 165 girls so it's definitely being used but it is not overly popular. The next name I have is Nixie. Nixie is a spunky German name that means water nymph. It has a playful sound and a really, really fun meaning, and I feel like it could make a standout character name or an interesting choice for maybe a middle name for a baby. And then there's the similar sounding Nyx, which I feel like could make a really cool character name. It comes from Greek mythology and is the name of the goddess of the night. Nyx would make such a cool one syllable middle name choice for a modern baby. Nixie was given to 20 girls in 2017 and Nix was only given to 16. The next name I have is another one from Greek mythology and that is Astraea. Astraea was the goddess of justice and innocence and then she was turned into the constellation Virgo. I think this name would be a very cool name for a baby born under the astrological sign of Virgo. Astraea also means star, which is I think the perfect meaning for a character in a sci-fi story. And the nicknames Astra and Araya make this name more accessible and on their own would be cool choices for a character as well if you are looking for names with a sky related meaning. Only five girls were given this name in 2017 in the US. The next name I have is Quilla. 
Aquila is an English name that simply means quill. However, I did find some information that Mama Quilla or Mama Kilia, I didn't I don't know the exact pronunciation, is the Inca goddess of the moon, but it's spelled the same way as Quilla. So that was interesting. Either way, Quilla just has this beautiful kind of haunting sound, and I think it would make such a great character or baby name. And I love that the nickname Quill makes it um, a little bit more accessible. It's extremely rare and was given to less than five girls in 2017. And if you're looking for a real standout name with the unusual Q initial, I feel like this is a really great choice. The next name I have is Alta. Alta is a short name, but it has such a strong sound. It comes from Latin and it means elevated or highest. And it fits in with popular names like Ava and Ella and Aria, but it's still extremely rare at number 5,634 with only 22 uses in 2017. It's such an ancient name, but I feel like it definitely stands the test of time and it has a straightforward sound that is so easy to spell and pronounce and I feel like it would be perfect for a baby born today or a character born a thousand years from now. And finally, the last name I have is Zorina. Zorina is a Slavic name that means golden dawn. It has a princessy sound that would work in this world or any that you create for your character. And the nicknames Zora and Rina, I think, make it even more appealing and accessible. Zorina was used less than five times in 2017. I would love to meet a baby or a character with this name. So let me know which of these names were your favorites and what names you think have a sci-fi futuristic sound. Also let me know if there is another category of names that you would like me to make a video about. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.